After an entire year of Deltarune Chapter 2's release, oh my god, we finally have the Deltarune status update. So let's immediately get into the analysis of this great and amazing page. He says that even now there still seems to be a passionate fan base for what we have put out. Obviously this is a reference to my very oh own my channel God. because I've consistent, almost consistently uploading Deltarune videos constantly. Oh and by the way, right after that, this obviously means that Spamton is canonically Toby and Gaster. And we can see right here whether or not you like men with long noses. I think it's a clear indication right here that Gru from Despicable Me will certainly be in Deltarune in the future chapter. Now on to the development update. This right here is just one of the many times Toby Fox has said that they're working on 3, 4, and 5 and not just 3. It really grinds my gears when people ask when chapter 3 is coming out because because they just keep saying and it really annoys me. I absolutely hate it. Once again, this line it makes me feel really nice and just happy inside because, you know, you know, it's just good to know that a great game is being smoothly worked on. And now onto the mini preview. And right here is a hometown day. The description is after the dark night. That quote right there makes me believe that the entirety of chapter three is just the night. And we kill the night, which is chapter three. In chapter three, and then this song plays. <laughs> and as you can see here, this entire scene right here, it reminds me of <laughs> when Frisk and Sans were at the bar together. Once again, this is obvious that Chris will kill Susie because there's ketchup right there. Right here is a common reference to hit game Delta Traveler where Susie throws the rock. Toby Fox had a lot of inspiration from that game, which inspired him to create Delta Room. And uh, I guess it starts raining as well. I don't, I don't really know. But now on to more Castle Town. Coming up, we had my absolute favorite song out of the three he has shown us so far. This apparently plays when you recruit the right characters. One of which is Gaster. Why you may be asking? Well, they're both mysterious. That's it, and that's literally it. And now we know that Gaster is canonically a saxophone. I can already see artists going wild with this one. And from this little video right here, I'm assuming it's Queen's room. We can see that Queen is still being the best character in the game. And apparently there's also a new character in her room. And more castle worlds, dark worlds, world. All right, so let's start with the doors. Both of these doors just look like the outline of the dreamer house. I haven't seen anybody say that, which is kind of surprising. The cacti is literally just a copy and paste from <laughs> the real world. Both of these couches represent Asriel and Chris's couch. All these stars on the wall are also kind of shown on Asriel's side of the room. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what this thing is. Uh, we can see a tiny mouse. It looks like a rundown kind of shop for some reason, even though everywhere else seems just so clean. So maybe this is like underneath a couch? Because, you know, couches like great treasure, and there might be some cool things in here. I don't know. There's a room right here. Uh, obviously, Gaster lives there because Gaster is rich. That's pretty much it here. But if Rose isn't Chris's imagination of Asriel, I feel like we might see a dark world version of Asriel, but then again, I, you know, I don't even know what I'm And that is pretty much it, except it's not. And now we have entered what can be solid proof that Toby Fox is Gaster. Why do I say that this is Gaster? Well, you can type anything into this little bar right here and you will end up in here. And you can also type in Gaster and guess what? You're still here. What are you doing? I gotta wake up! There's more stuff being found! Oh, what is this? It looks like a chair. How about I press on it a few times? Oh my god, oh my god, it's so stupid things. Oh. And then you get onto this. Oh my god, it's big shot! Look at all these ads. Look at all this money raised. Look at all these prizes. So many locked. But will we get them? Who knows? Giant golden birdly statue. Oh my god, it has one with the Mona Lisa. But it's a spam thing. And then if you go down here, really strange website. Holiday Girls 1225's Game Secrets Glitches and Theories blog with beautiful music. And then you go into the comments and it's so bizarre. What is all this? Do we call this number? Maybe. This might be desk. So many questions, no answers from me. You might need to watch a different YouTube video for that. You press on the door. What's here? 
Oh, okay. Where do we go? Let's go to the door. <gasps> oh, it's the weather. What's this? I don't even know. Press on them. <laughs> Changing room. Yo! <gasps> Whoa, there was a tiny little lancer. It's the little spinny boy. <gasps> It's the TV. And that's about it for this TV. I don't really see anything else happening. But... <gasps> it's the spam tin plush. Let's see what happens when we press. This is legitimately terrifying. <laughs> Yo! This is sick! Oh my god! Oh my god. I'm sorry, but I don't have enough time to decipher whatever the hell this thing is talking about. <laughs> the ones from her sister. Ah. Uh, yes. What is this peculiar looking thing? There's nothing to do in this one. Oh, what is this? It is the secret peepers. I don't know if this is an actual leak, but look at them. So cute. You can pause here if you want, but this page is a uh, has this crazy music. It hints towards the eggs. Um, and uh, and we get this page, which has even more hints to what the eggs are, which is really cool. What is this? <laughs> oh God, it's going on its own now. On today's show, we are playing What's Behind the Door. Let's see the first one. Behind the second one. What's behind the third? Fourth? Fifth? Sixth? Seventh? <gasps> Eighth? No. Mmm, mm, delicious. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Apparently, I also missed something in the TV room. Here is what happens when you rename the thing to TV2.gif. It's kind of cool. This, is, this entire thing is just how Chris knows how to play piano. Very nice. <laughs> So I got some very valuable intel that I can contact no well with this email. And uh, here's my message to her, and let's see what happens. Alright guys, I got a message back from no well, um, and it's, uh, I'm not home right now, sorry, you can still email me, though I have a laptop. Okay, see you soon. When you search up Al Gaylord, you get Al Gaylord. Oh my god, it's Lancer, what's he gonna do? No!